In Whammo, folks, September, we find a comet. All of a sudden, we have a comet that they've found, which is a bunch of whatever. So <coughs> there's your info on that. And basically, as you can see, and I'll pull the around here, and you're going to see the actual fact that the sun's always in the well. That's the dot on this big yellow, because that's the track of the sun right there. That's where the sun tracks, okay? Center of the Milky Way galaxy, pretty much. And there you have this C slash 2012 S1. It's ISON. Okay, so basically we're going to have a real dramatic action. Uh, I think uh, December 26th of next year on the thir on two th in 2013. Okay, so this is the data and stuff on it. And the interesting stuff is I'm going to go do a computation on the minimum here on the IU because what's interesting. I think I can pop too real fast the idea that this is the, the recent data from, you know, NASA, which we can trust. They usually th crunch the right data in. Now, they don't have a rating on it closeness to Earth, okay? And it's going to be closer than what I was seeing. Well, I'm going to minus out of here, and basically, so you know that I'm at, at the JPEL. And I'll get out of here, and we'll go to, now, remember, Jupiter was not in that north sky, Okay, and the moon wasn't that either because it was in the west and high. Okay, so very down south, straight up in this area right here. And it'll match Worldwide Player when you play it at the right time on 924 Neumeyer Station's coordinates. And you'll see the same stuff that I put in my videos. Okay, so basically I can go here and basically I'm getting this one up here telling everybody that boom and telling them about Karasov being a piece of and now military side I love military side uh, it takes a lot of videos to get all this information in there the sechi information on the sun blinking which you, you see the real down on earth 13,780 some on almost 800 feet 13,800 feet over there in Hawaii at the telescopes you'll see what the hologram and everything like that's going on in the sky let's go ahead and take a look right now of what we got going on over in Japan with we and we should have a clock ticking it will tick a little bit every once in a while it, we, we will refresh because it did with me a little while ago now this is a f uh, another one of those fast spinning uh, stars or planets up there and remember I'm not gonna get into names because it's you know I'll get tongue-tied and we also have star propagation action also up here behind the numbering and so forth and so on so there is some interesting action and in you also see a nice silhouette of probably more than likely Hercules and that's what I'm going to stay at calling it Hercules red dwarf blue star because it does change color uh, more than likely that's where it's shadowing right now over in Japan okay or some other object I and mean, it possibly could be also a hologram of Jupiter or uh, maybe Venus but I really th would think it would be Jupiter being that big or that's a hologram of Hercules okay because basically there's a lot of Hercules you go to Hercules in the sky on worldwide telescope you go to Wolfram and you run Hercules uh, I don't know if you can read my tags uh, the tag thing is different now I put my tags in to be able to have people come to the video I also put hottie on the front of the video so that people will take a look at that you know because there's everybody looks at chicks on the internet on YouTube so you put hottie a lot of other people will end up bouncing into it okay so a lot of times the name on there is usually just to get people to be able to see it. The tickers lie. They're never going to say how many people actually watch my videos. Uh, this is actually a recent frozen shot. And like I say, this is no birds. We have gotten it down to what the birds look like when they're flying. They're not that big. Okay. And this was froze it there and it should refresh it. So a matter of fact, I can even probably pop out of here and refresh it. Let me go see if I can get it refreshed. Okay, and this is what you do to get that to come up. And I'm talking a little loud because I have the sun, the sound in my ears again for a second. Hang on. And what you do is you go in and you hit that show more like I just clicked. Okay. And then you'll have the cameras. And number seven is the most interesting one that you want to watch. And I've already clicked it and have it up and running. Let's go take a look at it. We'll plop it up. And be careful. See, the kids are being able to see this and everything like that because they're not putting me my videos are not putting in the right news in politics area okay they're getting all kinds of Disney stuff and crap where they're putting it at okay they're so they're hiding my videos away actual science factual data I mean this is shots from Sechi right there on that okay so I'll sh uh, 
hit this again. I didn't try to click that, but anyway, you hit the show more, and then the li the video links are down here. You can click on any one of these cameras, and it'll load. You usually can just watch one camera at a time. And basically, there's seven. Let's see what's going on at seven. Now earlier, now we got light propagation again, and you're getting all kinds of because it's nighttime there right now, folks. So hopefully that will go away there, the double click to go to full screen and so forth and so on. I got to go ahead and turn some sound down for my ears. So like I say, it's already nighttime there. So pretty soon it'll be the 26th so over there. The timeline starts again. So when the sun sets in the west here or starts even being like over top of, uh, I mean, if you start seeing the sun set on the west coast, if you're out there by the ocean or you looking west and the sun is starting to set, then it'll be becoming daytime over in Japan where this footage is at. Now, we don't have no clock on this, but it's nighttime, and as you can see, the objects in the sky. Uh, I can actually go into Worldwide Telescope, and I'm going to, because what I'm, I've got it already loaded, and you're going to see where the idea, the actual factual, that Kerasoft has played with my, on my video when I uploaded, they changed the time. Because right here, and now they might even change the time again to my voice here, because what I'm doing is I'm pointing at my Worldwide Telescope that I've had running all night long. We're sitting at 16 hours, and I started at the uh, UTC time of 6. So this has been running for 10 hours, okay? And it's pretty much, you, you can see how slow it's moving. Now, I could speed up, slow down, and someone could queue and play games, but I don't play games, okay? I had the 9th, 24th date. And what I'm pointing to now, who knows, they might be overriding again and change the date again to try to make it look fake. But in the sky right now, in Antarctica, near Meyer Station, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change over and go ahead and put the coordinates. This was where that's what you need to put in for Nehemiah Station, okay? 70.39.00 and 08.15.00. That's your latitude longitude which is like 8.15 and 70.39. 70.39 lat, 8.15 long. Okay? And I'm going to go ahead and change that now to what we got going on in Hawaii that the footage that I just showed you here, okay? Because this is getting to be pretty, pretty damn cool. They're getting a very unique nighttime sky light propagation action. Okay, because these are stars also shining down onto, and this is a live webcam. It may be froze because, like we've seen on the clock earlier, on I believe camera seven or eight, I was at. It's pretty much interesting at seven, eight, nine. And also, we got some inter but they're all good links. They're they're all live cameras that they completely circular, circular, they circular are circulated around in circular, they encircle. There you go. They encircle that volcano over in Japan that keeps on. That basically, folks, the whole top of this flip of mountain has disappeared in the last year and a half. Okay, it's been blowing its ass off. Okay, we got some interesting star action, everything like that. Be interesting to see which object we have right here. Okay, that's uh, over top there in Japan right now at nighttime. Okay, and it's live 9:55 a.m. Central Standard Time here in the Central United States. Very high on your. Now again, the the often stated rule, Gamma Sagitti, is so basically the dwarf is pretty much in that area, Gamma Sagitti area, and also uh, Gamma stands for when you look it up, it's going to give you a sexual change and deviant basically uh, you look up the definition of the word okay and then it's also got uh, because it's called alfeca and gamma okay it's no gamma gemma I'm sorry I said that wrong gemma okay so alpha coronia yeah borealis okay alfeca is alfeca is the dominant mid-second magnitude one okay so it's a very interesting area and then basically when you go into uh, Wolfie uh, I'm trying to remember what I had in what I put in and then basically a lot of people are trying to figure out uh, certain th properties and I think my search what it was that got all this stuff going on and we know about Rigel Ry uh, I put in Alpha Alpheca star okay now it is I believe partly uh, of the supergiants also. So that's what you have to realize how spread out this, all the stars and the supergiants, which the sun is a star, and it's our one in the middle of the Milky Way, 
But right now, everything else is close, and i.e., all of a sudden, we have another comment coming in uh, and just discovered here this month, which is basically, I'm pretty damn sure that uh, JPL has known about it for a long time, discovered it a lot faster than that. They wait for a common citizen to say, hey, look what I found. And they they pretty much, they've got to have a crew that pretty much knows what everything in the damn flipping universe is out there in the universe, okay? Because this didn't just all of a sudden show up like they're saying it showed up. All of a sudden it was discovered on the 21st, okay, of this year, the 24th, today, uh, the 25th today, okay? And they got these distances to the sun and everything like that, but... uh. I guess they were being a little bit honest on the 0 .0 0.4 IU. It's 37,000 miles. I'll see if I'll compute that on what I've got for the actual uh, info here on JPL and see if that comes up as being the same thing. So, But all of a sudden now, and then remember I said before Thanksgiving of last year, the NASA had a deal and, oh, there's nothing. Co if you weren't watching the space or looking at the auroras and everything that's going on in space, we have the most active in lifetimes i mean th all, uh, three centuries of star action right now in with in just a in a year okay so i'll crunch that there all you at 0 0.44 because that's what they figured the closest it would be and i'll crunch that on on wolf and we'll compute it and see what we got for a distance in mileage to see if it matches what they put on uh our uh wiki you know Everybody puts stuff in, and you always got to remember everything that's on Wiki, folks. I mean, you could put in there that someone's dead, and unless somebody uh, argues the point or something like that, you know, sometimes stuff get uh, put on there. So you can't trust everything at Wiki. You always got to run everything through the mill three times. But like I say, this is what they were showing, all the data they were showing for this, for this read. So, and then we're just sharing the news, and we have a total constitutional right to share and talk and share the news and everything like that. All right. So, let's go ahead and take a look. So, either this video or another one, I'm going to set the longitude and latitude different and change the time and so forth to take a look at what's going on there in Japan. So, but as you see, at the 6.20 UTC time, I started this and it's been playing all night long. And it's been playing for 10 hours, just about 10 hours because it's uh, 16, 1600 hours right now UTC time. So, I had the right date. I had 9.24 2012-924, and, and if you watch my video, they had it changed to 2012-910 for the date, okay? But all the footage right here in the video showing uh, from Worldwide Telescope will match, and it can't be changed on my video. Now, if they play with it, they send it off to Hollywood and go, hey, we need to get this Worldwide Telescope changed over and show that it, make it look, fake it out, make it look like there's Jupiter there or something like that. Yeah, that could possibly happen. But for right now, this here will match up to the to the right time at 620 UTC okay which is not there right now I'm showing 61707 because I've been running for 10 hours and you'll see the same stuff in the sky and basically we found absolutely we found absolutely the dwarf the red blue dwarf the Kachina whatever the hell you want to call it it's in this Niemeyer footage that barely at the end of this video I catch because I caught it and then you're gonna basically see a lot of it in here and you can go to Niemeyer's site let me give you that link from Alfred Wigner, uh, the scientific over there in Norway and everything like that. And this is the Alfred Wegener Institute and our German compatriots. Uh, they pretty much run, I believe, that one down there at Neumeyer. It's pretty much... Uh, and also the actual factual... You, I have to see that the shadow shows up also. And you should be able to see her, uh, her, what I ended up getting in the video. You should be able to get in from the daily photos... If you can research yesterday's photos, not today's, because today's the 25th, okay, you should be able to maybe get it out of the photos too. Now, I improved my sound a lot, but I got a better mic, and I apologize for the old mic a long time ago, but if they're playing around with sound now, I can't help it. They're making echoes and stuff like that. So anyway, here's what we seen last night over in Japan there too, and I'm going to try to get you the footage also of... Now, folks, when I really first found it too, what I did miss is at 11.21 in my video, you can end up seeing a shadow at nighttime, okay? A shadow at nighttime of a big because it's n now it possibly let's see we you got to look and see if the moon at 2250 utc was there because there it goes so north and west and east there's nothing there the moon isn't there so it wasn't that it was something huge in the night
Watch the nighttime shadow in this video of mine.